today we are outside and we are celebrating the Earth this week. It is Earth Day on April 22nd and we thought it would be great to do an outdoor art activity. We are going to talk to you today about some artists that have created earthwork art. Andy Goldsworthy, born in 1956, is a British sculptor. He currently lives and works in Scotland, and he is known as a ph photographer, an environmentalist, somebody that produces what's called site-specific sculptures and land art, which I've been kind of calling earth art. It's art that is situated in a natural and herbal, urban setting. So natural setting is out in nature urban setting could be out in the community or in the city and the artwork that he creates is very interesting it doesn't have a lifelong duration to it that means it's not supposed to live forever some of that artwork is going to naturally decay because it is made out of flowers and leaves and petals and icicles and mud snow twigs thorns so as you're creating your art today, look at Andy Goldsworthy's art and see if you can incorporate some found materials and create your own land art. Another famous earthwork I'd like to introduce you to is the Spiral Jetty. This was made by Robert Smithson, and he is an American sculptor, and this was one of his most important works of art. It was constructed in April 1970, and it was built of mud, salt crystals, and balsit rocks. This sculpture, sculpture is huge. It's 1,500 feet long and over 15 feet wide. And sometimes this sculpture, if you notice it's in the water, is visible, and sometimes it's submerged, which means Means it's under the water which depends on the water level and it is located in the Great Salt Lake in Utah so so we went on a walk today and we collected a bunch of different rocks we found and we needed to do this for math in um, kindergarten for the rock graph and I thought this would be a great way to connect Earth Day and connect our art and show you some earth works and we're gonna paint our rocks and turn them into our very own earth work and so I'm excited to show you what we create today. painting rocks in our backyard that we have this collected and we're going to use just some paint that we had laying around and we're going to paint them and then put them in our very own earthwork composition was glow in the dark and we're very excited for when we lay down our earthwork lesson to come out at night and see if all these rocks that we have painted actually glow in the dark so stay tuned to that and, and we'll actually might show you if they glow in the dark and stay tuned to the end to see some really funny bloopers. Hope you liked learning about land art and earth art with us. There's so much more out there. All you have to do is go outside and look at the beautiful mother nature we have. I can't wait to see what you create. Find found objects, whether it's sticks or rocks or something that you paint and you create in your house or in your backyard. Please share it with me either through Facebook or you can email it to me. And I hope you enjoy your Earth Week. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, be kind, and always be creative. And this week you have to recycle, reduce, and reuse, even though we should be doing that all the time. See you next all time. All the beautiful art that's around us. You could even, yes, my dog just opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's a helicopter.
helicopter. If it wasn't my children, it's the loud noise. So fun making an outdoor video. <laughs>